The average adult may consume close to 2,000 pounds of food each year. Wow, a ton of food. So what happens to this food? Your amazing digestive system breaks down this food so that the body can absorb the nutrients that keep us alive. Your digestive system is roughly 30 feet in length, uses your teeth and liver, and needs the help of bacteria to complete its job. Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and the Path of Food Through the Digestive System. Digestion begins in the mouth. This involves both mechanical digestion, or the chewing of food, and chemical digestion. Your teeth chew food into smaller pieces while saliva is mixed with the food to aid in swallowing. Amylase in saliva starts and begins to break down starches into simple sugars. The food is mixed together to create a bolus, which is a lump of food. The bolus travels down the esophagus, and after passing through the esophagus, food enters the stomach, where it is churned into a thick liquid called chyme. Hydrochloric acid excreted by periental cells lowers the pH in the stomach, which increases the effectiveness of pepsin, which is an enzyme that begins the digestion of proteins. The chyme then passes into the first section of the small intestine called the duodenum. Here bile, which is created at the liver and stored in the gallbladder, is excreted. Enzymes created at the pancreas are added to the food. The bile helps break down fats by reducing large drops of fat to smaller droplets, which increase the surface area of the fats. Three pancreatic enzymes digest nutrients. Here, lipase breaks down food, fat molecules into fatty acids, amylase reduces the starches to simple carbohydrates, and trypsin begins to break down proteins into amino acids. The walls of the small intestines are lined with folds and tiny finger-like projections called villi, which greatly increase the surface area of the small intestine. Each villus contains capillaries and a lymphatic vessel. Nutrients diffuse through the thin walls of the villus and enter into the capillaries or the lymphatic vessels. Fatty acids go into the lymphatic vessels and simple sugars, amino acids, and water flow into the capillaries. The capillaries and lymphatic vessels deliver the nutrients into the bloodstream where they are transported to body cells. The small intestine is very long and measures roughly 23 feet in length or 7 meters. After the small intestine, food passes into the large intestine or colon. The large intestine is full of bacteria, some of which produce useful vitamins such as vitamin K. Excess water is also absorbed in the large intestine, and a mixture of waste material, bacteria, and mucus are passed to the rectum, where the mixture is compacted and ready for elimination. Wastes are eliminated through an opening. So there we go, the path of food through the digestive system. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.